Hey everyone, this is Jim with Thriving Branch. I hope you don't mind these cell phone videos, but my recording equipment is sealed away in boxes. But as long as I have an internet connection and a cell phone, I will continue to make these videos. And I thank you for sticking with me during this time. I wanted to continue our conversation from where we left off previously regarding why you believe the gospel and why you believe the scripture. I said in the previous video that there are two reasons generally considered to be very weak when you're asked that question. And those reasons are because I was raised to believe and because of my personal experience. And even if you never plan to share the gospel with anyone, I don't know how you could, but even if you never share the gospel with anyone, those reasons are still very weak because your experience changes from day to day, week to week, year to year. So if you found your belief on Christ based on your personal experience, and your personal experience changes, what happens to your belief in Christ? You see, part of the reason that people struggle with believing the scripture or answering the question of why they believe is because they only view it as a spiritual divine book. But the Bible is actually more than that. Yes, I said more than that. The Bible is not a book at all. The word Bible means a collection, a collection of books. But it's also a collection of historical records written by not just one person, but many people throughout multiple ages and multiple regions and different backgrounds, different classes of people, all telling the same stories, all pointing to one particular event, that event being the life and the works of Jesus Christ. There are people who recorded before he existed, during his existence, and after his existence, and there are sources outside of the scripture that also attest to those events. There are ancient historians who were not Christian, the most famous of which being Josephus. But there's more. There's also Tacitus, Phlegon, Thallus. There are many others. We have more resources today to do the research than any other time in world history. You don't need me to do your homework for you, but I'm saying those things and those resources and those accounts are there. So I say all this because the scripture also says that we should be ready to always give an answer for the hope that is inside of us. And it should strengthen our faith as well. Like I said, even if you never plan to share your faith with anybody do it for yourself. Do it for your own edification. Answer the question for yourself, why you believe. And I look forward to thriving with you again. Be blessed.